with me, Eric Latif. I'm just reminding you that the President has addressed the nation this evening where he has called what the events of what we have seen today and the last couple of days treasonous and he says the military is now to assist the police in securing the country and says that uh, everything will be done to ensure that there is maximum security. We've been telling you what's happened in Nairobi today, what's happened in Mombasa, and let's take it to Eldoret, where for the second time since the Gen Z demonstrations began, Eldoret Town, the bedrock of President William Ruto, experienced serious chaotic scenes as residents rejected the contentious finance bill. Several cars were torched by irate youth, including the Eldoret Municipality Court. Our reporter, Federico Luoch, with that story. As the youth in Nairobi advanced and overran parliament, their counterparts in Eldoret had the same message. Reject the finance bill 2024 and Ruto must go. Eldoret, the town that lies in Wasingishu County, that is President Ruto's backyard, continued to surprise with its magnitude and intensity of demos. The Gen Z protesters in Eldoret came out in numbers to oppose the passing of the Finance Bill 2024. Today, the agitated youth took the demos to new heights, setting the Eldoret Municipal Court on fire as they intensified their push for President Ruto to resign. <laughs> The demos did not spare establishments that are considered to be owned by government officials or those who backed the contentious bill. <laughs> Club Timber XO, that is rumored to belong to a Kiruto ally, bought the brand of the angry protesters as the establishment was vandalized. <laughs> Phoenix, Oluoch, Kate